Destel, finally. Now, this one, of course, is Cape-based. It's the company that was formed from the combination quite a few decades ago of distillers and Stellenbosch Farmers Winery, hence Destel. And it is really the number one producer and marketer of wines, spirits, and flavored alcoholic beverages here. So we're talking about brands like Clipdrift, Niederberg, and then they bought this Scottish uh, business, Boonarvon, sometime. Boonarvon. Boonarvon. Yes. <laughs> In Isla. You don't spell it anything like that. No, I no, no. It's Gallic wood. Yes. <laughs> so that's where they are. And then they own things like Amarula cream and they export that stuff. It sells amazingly in Taiwan and some weird places. I've seen it in Iceland. Now, the news is that their controlling shareholders were always SAB Miller. Yeah. And of course, now that's AB InBev. And then it used to be Remgro Cape yeah. Now, that's not changing, but AB InBev are selling that interest to the Public Investment Corporation. Yeah. That's not very exciting, is it? It's not exciting because I think the PIC will probably hold on to it because it's a, it's a great stock. I mean, yeah. this is the great unsung hero of the of the, the booze industry, basically. You've mentioned some... Big some, some turnover, some, yeah, very it's solid, tremendous Super performer. Company, really is a great performer. So I think it's unlikely that PIC mm. will let go of this one, mm. which means, unfortunately, that your shareholder spread is going to remain very, very low at about 12% of thereabouts, which yes. makes the, the tradability very, very poor. So for the punters out there listening, what that means is that if you've got all these big institutions institutional shareholders that own these blocks and are never selling, then it creates a very limited pool yeah. of leftover shares for the market to trade in. Let's have a look at the share chart because that will reveal, you can't really see it over five years, but that's quite ragged movement sometimes, sort of goes up and goes down without really giving any warning. But all things considered, solid performer has had a little bit of a softer trading uh, in the last half of the year of 2016. but poised to go higher? How do you I feel? think so. As mm. I say, it's, it's quality, it's, it's a solid company, and I think a lot of people that hitherto were involved in SAB and could see their products yeah. uh, locally, maybe, uh, maybe looking to, to actually get into, into this one as well, mm. albeit with, the, with the, the caveats that you mentioned. It's, it's not a good trader, unfortunately. Mm. Because effectively what happened here, it wasn't that AB InBev wanted to sell the stake, they were forced to. As part of the yeah. conditions for approving the takeover of SAB Miller, they said to AB InBev that this is one of the things you're going to have to get going. Yes. Not surprising that the PIC wanted to pick it up because, you know, it's the kind of chunky holding that they can put into the government employees' pension fund. Yes. I don't know. I mean, as you say, they have on occasion, like they did with that Vodacom purchase, taken stock and then turned around and said, okay, well, look, maybe we can facilitate an empowerment transaction or something. I suppose that's possible. Possible. Um, but, you know, that, that may happen in the future. Short term, I think it's, it's probably going to stay within their, their clutches. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're going to go hot on the yep. That's excellent. All good and well. Right.